involved at the strip club and I ain't getting fucked off just, you know what I mean, trying to keep up with IG. Mm -hmm. Some investments was made, some factories was made, was bought, some equipment, something to enterprise and create some type of asset to pass down. And then whoever received it wasn't in the mindset of any means necessary to go get it. Right. You know, they was dealing with what their grandfather or their father passed down or the family trade or, you know what I mean, whatever was established. So, you know, I, I know what that feel like being in the world when there's nothing established around you. Yeah. So based on that, you rationalize decisions like, you know, breaking the law or hustling, you know what I mean? Because you like, shit, I ain't got nothing. So if you do, you're not gonna have that rationalization. You're gonna be like, I gotta deal with what I got. You know, pops or my grandfather or my uncle and them, they did right by, by that moment and they left something for us. Right. Yeah. And of course, like being a hustler and also being here at like the Blacks and Technology Conference, you're working with, I mean, you're, you just spoke in front of individuals who are technologists, engineers, you know, oftentimes the only black people in their fields. Mm -hmm. You know, being the hustler that you are, like, what are some of the motivational tactics or some things of encouragement that you can say not only to them, but other black young girls and young boys that are thinking about getting into fields that they're getting into? Um, it's hard to just get blanket advice, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. just, you know, I think it's just about taking advantage of the air, if anything, if I give any piece of info. What's different about right now is that all, everything ever learned, everything that we ever learned as human beings, you can go online and tap into right now. Mm -hmm. The whole collective is right there. And we ain't had that. No generation had that. You know what I'm saying? So where we, where we made up for lack of info was we worked super hard. You know what I'm saying? We put the extra hours in. We was just aggressive and grinding. Mm -hmm. And now you can balance that out with the information that's powerful. And I think that's the advantage that this generation got over us and the, and the generations before was that they got the information. Yeah. And they can't let that make them lazy, because they can. You gotta let that, you know, balance out the hard work and, and you know what I mean, create something unique. Yeah. yeah. And lastly, you know, being here right now, being at this conference, what, what would you like to see from this conference grow as far as, as, far as like next steps uh, for an organization like this? Um, I think it's important just to represent blacks in tech. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Just the name of it is important because this, this is the world right now. Technology. You know what I mean? Everything that hasn't been disrupted is going to be disrupted mm -hmm. eventually. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We saw music, film, fashion, retail, you know, information. Everything going to end up disrupted. We might be wearing some digital clothes one day. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and so I think that you know, to not have engineers, to not have math majors, to not have uh, entrepreneurs that look like us in that space, you know, would be failure. And eventually, you know, the, the, the entry level moment gonna be over. And you're gonna have people with such a big lead on us, you know what I'm saying? In just terms of skills and experience and confidence, that it's gonna be hard to catch up. So it's important that, you know, we, we teach the young people STEM skills now so that they can be eligible for Silicon Valley and we make sure that we got entrepreneurs that are, you know, sniffing out the opportunities in technology and, you know, organizations that's throwing panels and just, you know what I mean, spreading info. Yeah. yeah. Next, thank you so much for flying into the Twin Cities. Thank you for being here at the conference. Yes, sir. Good. Appreciate you. Yes, sir. <laughs> Let's do it.